Now I know I show you guys a lot of food, but this one, we're really proud of. Me and Jen made this. It's like a fried type chicken that was fried in olive oil with a little bit of Swiss cheese on it and some corn. Yeah. Well guys, it's another gloomy day out here. I mean, look at this. You can't even see the sky, it's just all clouds. So we're, we're kind of stuck here at home, you and me. We gotta figure something out to do to keep us entertained. Oh, and don't you worry. I'll figure something out. Hopefully. I've got it. Now will be the perfect occasion. Oop. Tripping over stuff. <laughs> For me to prove my point with vlogging, right? I had this whole big long vlog about how, like, yeah, you're not your vlog, you're not your khakis, right? No. I had this big long vlog about how you don't have to actually go anywhere. You just have to be engaging with the audience. And so, if I'm not going to go anywhere tonight, I figured, heck, I can make a vlog in my backyard. I hope. <laughs> It's just very difficult because this is so familiar to me. You know, I know every nook and cranny of this overridden jungle of mine that it's hard for me to point something out and be like, Hey, look at this. This is amazing. You guys should see this. But, you know, that's where I have to think outside of the box. Like, I guess this tree branch fell today. Uh, oh, that doesn't look good. Probably need to take some of those tree branches down. Look at this. Here's something interesting. There are like flowers growing, you see them right there? Way up in that tree. Okay, okay, check this out. You see this tree right here? This, my friends, is a golden rain tree. And we call it a golden rain tree because it rains golden flowers during the summertime. But that's not the interesting thing about it. The interesting thing is it's a weed. Like a tree is a weed. I'm trying to see if I have any like full grown ones anywhere around here. Uh, and I don't see any. Darn it! Anyways, so, it's a weed. It grows like crazy. They spit seeds. There has to be one somewhere around here because it spits seeds to grow this one. Oh, what the heck. And so it spits seeds way out here. They come flying over and they land. And then they grow like crazy, super tall and like skinny. Like this one's pretty tall, but it's still skinny down at the bottom down here. And then, the most annoying part... There are two annoying parts to this tree, but the first one is that it rains the golden stuff. The second one, second one is the really annoying one. There are these little black and red bugs that are called golden rain tree bugs. And what they do is they eat the seeds and they, they eat them like they're spiders or something. They inject something like a, some sort of acid inside of the seed. Like that. They melt the inside of the seed and they stick their mouth inside there and suck it all out like they're just like a spider. But they overrun everything. They're, whenever there's a golden rain tree somewhere, there's not any bugs out here right now because I guess it's not the season for them. Maybe it's too hot out. But once it becomes time for them, they overrun anywhere around there. My parents have them by their house and they will seriously cover an entire wall. Huge, just black and white, black and red bugs covering an entire wall. During the... the I don't know what season it is that they come out, but it's so bad that there will be little ones inside of the house dead because either they'll come in on your on your shoes or you'll step on them and you bring them inside or they just make their way inside somehow. And then they're all over the place. They're an infestation. Here's something for you guys across the pond. You guys see all these? These are, they're not ripe at all, but they're grapefruits. I got billions of them. <laughs> you guys want grapefruits? I'll send them to you by the barrel full. Well... I don't think I can actually send grapefruits out of this state. I think it's against the law. But like over there above the kayaks, there's an orange tree. This is a grapefruit tree. There's another orange tree. There's another one behind it. There's a you got to see this grapefruit tree. It's huge. I guess I can't really call this one an orange tree anymore because it died during the freeze. Yep, it's dead. But oh, and that one's dead too from the freeze. This one, I think, might be dead. It might still be alive though. I don't know. No, the bark's falling off. It's dead. This one's still alive though. That's definitely an orange tree. That used to be an orange tree. This used to be an orange tree. This used to be an orange tree. And this behemoth back here, that thing right there, that goes all the way up to right there is where it, that's a different tree behind it that you're seeing. But that's all grapefruit tree. You can see it. See, this is a grapefruit right here. Even though it's not ripe. There's a couple of little ripe ones up in there. You kind of see that yellow right there? 
Oh, there's a big one. And we saw that we saw that snake yesterday. And the whole reason that we have snakes to get in there, and we love them, is because they will eat the baby mice and the baby rats. And once they get bigger, they'll eat the full size mice, the full size rats. And because we live in, oh man, there's mosquitoes out everywhere. And because we live in Florida, we have grapefruits and stuff like that. But the rats love to eat the grapefruits and the oranges and everything. Anytime that you get a grapefruit that falls on the ground, if you don't pick it up right away, rats everywhere. Tons of rats. Thunderstorms, rats, you guys want to come to Florida yet? It's so funny too because I'm talking about how I should be on like the board of tourism because I show you guys so many awesome things about Florida and here I'm like, we got rats everywhere, they're overrunning the state and bugs, tons of bugs, mosquitoes, but we got grapefruits. Now we're on the messy side of the yard. Oh man, look, there's a mosquito right there. You guys want to see him? Oh, I don't have macro. There he is. If once, once we get the new camera, I'll be able to show you guys when mosquitoes are biting me. So, this is the messy side of the yard. This is where the fire pit is. You know, some used fireworks in there. A couple of pieces of wood from something. I don't know what. Oh, it's from a door. That's from that. <laughs> How many of you guys have been with me long enough to know about the door that we lit on fire? That was a scary day. And that's why I don't have a fire extinguisher in the house anymore, because we used it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and there's the remnants of my Christmas tree, too, by the way. But... <laughs> Oh, this side of the yard has got many a tales to tell. But this is the fire ring that once it gets colder out, you guys will definitely see the fire ring because we have a good time out here. But unfortunately, it's only cold for like one week out of the year. <laughs> see, I'm all ready. Here's my wood pile ready to be burned. I got some old fencing over there that can be burned. I'm excited for cold weather. Of course, it, you know, feels pretty good outside right now, though. And here we are, you guys now get to see a different <laughs> a different perspective of my house that you haven't seen before yet. There it is, from this angle. It looks much bigger, doesn't it? That's because somebody's living here and somebody's living there, and I live over there. It makes it look like apartments, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's a house. This is just above the garage, and the garage, and then behind the garage, and then all of that over there is mine. Oh, and this is where we keep the two tables. You know, and the chairs. Yeah. Wow. That tree's pretty big, isn't it? Jeez. And there's like an overview. See here, this looks a lot better, doesn't it? The behind the garage, my part, the garden, the grill, one of the grapefruit trees. It's a good sized backyard, ain't it? What was that? There was like a flash off in the distance. <gasps> Maybe there's UFOs. And as you guys can see, we've kind of given up on the garden. And this tomato plant, I'm con convinced, will never grow tomatoes because these guys right here, these bugs, have just been eating it like crazy. I don't even know what kind of bugs they are. They're gross though. I think they might be stink bugs. If you guys don't know what stink bugs are, stay away from them. <laughs> if you hear anybody say the word stink bug, and you're like, oh, what's a stink bug? And they're like, oh, go check it out. It's really cool. Don't go over there. Because they spray you and they're like skunks. They smell so bad, and then it gets all over you, and you can't wash it off, and you're like, oh, 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 it makes you want to throw up. So that's my backyard. What did you guys think? Did I did I pass the test? That's the way to end the night right there. Some nummy nummy ice cream. And with Jen. Hooray! Hooray! I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price. We got a few out of towner pins today. We got good what? Sorry, should I do one? If you want to. Okay. Come on down. Do 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 Right here. That little black pin. Oh, soon enough we'll have macro. <laughs> Except for Tim wrote Belgian. Belgian. Belguin. Mm, this is really his handwriting. Yeah, that's right. And in the same sort of region, Europe.
<laughs> We've got Slammer 150371 in Leeds. We got a green pin here.